Hi again, um, made a bit of headway, one step forward, one step back, managed to get that lumber filler out of the tank. I don't know if you saw it on the previous videos where I was stripping the paint, you could see a big crack where there was a lumber filler. Um, you can see it, yeah, it's very similar to that other tank. I don't know, I'm going to go speak to the painter and see if it, he can blow it out before I use a slide hammer to pull it up. Um, or whether he says it's worth it or not. But um, it started to clean up quite nice actually. Still got a lot of work to do around the neck because I don't think I can get this off. The two screws that are under there are pretty solid. And I'll try soaking them in WD and see what happens. Um, I managed to swap one of the foot pegs over for the um, motocross ones off the boys' bike across the road. But the, they were the opposite way round somehow. I'm, I notched them out. Uh, the garage isn't any tidy. Yeah, I had to notch it out, round it off. This is the one for the other side. You get a return spring in there to spring it back. I'm going to have to put a little packing washer in there. This one's change the grinding disc and um, it, it was so aggressive it made it a bit slack but I'll put a couple of washers in there, pack it out, see how it looks. I'll take that off, paint it up. I started to cut that off. I'm going to round that up but um, I need to do it when all this is apart. That's as far as the disc cut I'll go. Um, so I want to shamp for it right round and put a nice Gucci cap on here and there. Um, I'll show you that for a bit. I sleeved that for the rear. Come on, focus. There you go, yeah, I've sleeved that. So I've just got to run a world around that both sides. Um, the awkward thing is, for the other tank which fitted on here, it must have had those big rubbers on and uh, you get those cups on the tank it slides on. But with the custom tank, it has these round bits on. So you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, I've just marked it, that's where I need to either drill or I think what I'll do is I'm going to cap it and put a bolt sticking out and then a, or a, a nut, a tube with a nut in the end and then I can put a round grommet in that end of the tank. I've got to figure that out. Um, I'll have a look, see what I can find in the way of rubber mounts. Um, nice to do a bit of progress with change, I've been itching to get onto this. Now we've had a bit of rain. There you go. That's tank repair coming on. Okay, bye.